Welcome to this very special event here at USM Finch Farm. Quite simply, we are showcasing everything that's good, everything that's fantastic about Everton in the community. We've got lots of facets of Everton in the community showcasing the magnificent work they do in the local area and also beyond. We've got staff, we've got participants. We're also joined by Marco Silva, the entire first team squad, and also our director of football, Marcel Brands, and also the CEO of Everton in the community, Richard Kenyon. This is fabulous, Richard. It is. I mean, it, the, the event's just started, but it's it, it's brilliant already. You can see the participants that we brought along are having a fantastic time. Players are enjoying themselves, and it's great that every every player in the first team squad is taking time out to come and do this. So it's 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 fantastic. Really pleasing. I think the key word that you've just used there is enjoyment. Everybody's got a smile on their face. The staff, the volunteers, the participants, and as you say, the players as well. Yeah, absolutely. There's smi smiles everywhere. Yeah, looking over here. And, Jordan and Mason having a having a great time with some of the kids from some of our uh, our school programs. So yeah, it's a, it's a it's a very very happy afternoon. And uh, as I say, you can see the players are already getting a lot from it as well. It's a showcase event, Richard, but it's a it's a drop in the ocean, isn't it? It, it is. It's very very hard to to show off in a in a short period of time the the breadth of work that Everton in the community does. People who know the charity will know that we're addressing more or less every social need that there is in Liverpool and around Goodison Park and, and those needs are extensive. It's one of the most deprived wards in the country. So the football club we know can make a difference with Everton in the community. So we, we try and address all of those challenges. And, you know, it's the power of the badge. The players are a big, important part of that. So having their involvement and having all of them committed today just will make such a massive difference for us. But it's not just today. It's every day of the year, the work of Everton in the community and the players support us year-round, which is... Which is Absolutely fantastic, and we couldn't do it without them. Thanks very much, Rich. Let's meet a few of the people who were involved. You've got uh, Marcel Brands and Umar Nias, Mason Holgate joining in, and uh, Mick King is responsible for the sports development facet. Just explain a little bit about what's going on here, Mick. Yeah, so what we've got here is a Premier League Primary Stars session. So it's a national programme, um, Premier League clubs and football league clubs across the country are running it, all based around driving high quality PE in schools, but then also developing the, the, you know, the whole child as well through teamwork, resilience, confidence building sessions as well. It's about reaching out there, isn't it, and engaging with as many people as possible, and the figures speak for themselves, 1,300 children last season. Yeah, it's amazing, you know, some schools we go into, we work with the full school, um, so with, through regular delivery and also through you know, mass participation events, it's getting the, the primary stars message out there and, and trying to work with as many kids as we can, yeah. Thanks a lot, Mick. Let's have a word with Jordan Pickford, who's very much involved in this, and the key word that we've heard so often, Jordan, is, uh, is enjoyment, and everybody's enjoying themselves, aren't they? Yeah, it's the main thing for the kids, and I think we enjoy ourselves a little bit as well when we're doing it, and... Um, yeah, it's about putting a smile on the face and you can just show the show how happy the kids are and not just the kids and if you look around the place it look it's great for them. The players can't help themselves, it's competitive amongst you lads, isn't it? Whatever you do. Yeah, well you got Mason tripping over the hurdles as well. So the little kids are better than Mason at <laughs> <laughs> We no, might we yeah. might catch a word with him later. No, it is great. It's, it's part of football, you you get competitive but nah. Uh, it's all a bit of fun, as long as we beat the other lads, but let the, let the little ones have a bit of fun as well. Thanks for speaking to us, Jordan. Do enjoy the rest of the day. OK, this is the, uh, the youth engagement facet of the uh, Everton in the Community Showcase. And uh, Anthony's, uh, Anthony's overseeing things at the side of the pitch. Just explain a little bit about what's happening here, Anthony. Yeah, so we've got a game going on here, throw, head, catch. So it's one of the skill games that we do with our young people. Just focusing on movement, warming them up, uh, control of the ball and uh, having a bit of fun early. Just tell us briefly how successful the Kicks programme has been. Yeah, it's been extremely successful. It's just coming up to its uh, 10 year anniversary now. Uh, and I've been on it from the start. So just obviously see the progression from three sites to numerous sites across the city. Uh, it's fantastic, but... What it's doing is taking young people off the streets and you know giving them positive diversion activities. And you're a perfect example, Anthony. Obviously, I know you've been there from the start. It develops staff and it develops coaches as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I mean, I started as a as a volunteer on the program and obviously through to a full time role now. But it, it gives upskill staff and, and gives them new experiences and. Obviously, I'll ch for the chance today to come down and work with the first team's brilliant. Fabulous. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Well, John Joe Kenny is uh, helping out here. I just need to pull John Joe off the, uh, 
off the pitch momentarily, leave the team down to two men. Will you be missed out there, John Joe? No, I'm not. Um, I'm just relaxing, got a bit of a side groin, so I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> it's fabulous, isn't it, to see the players and the Everton community staff and the participants all mixing together as one? Yeah, I think it's a great cause. We had a meeting about it before, um, you know, and I felt quite close to it, you know, being from my area and, you know, I was gr I've been growing up there and, you know, it's quite sad to see what's happening. So I'd like to get involved a bit more and, you know, help out the community. All the players are happy to help out here at Heaven, but particularly yourself, as you say, because the area that everything the community focuses on is in and around Goodison Park, and, and they're your streets, John Joe, aren't they? Yeah, you know, as, as I said before, the players are brilliant. I think, you know, we've got a great bunch of lads who can, you know, help out, and they will uh, take out the, um, the time of the day to come and help out the community and put some money into the community too. And as you said, I was, I'm from that area, and, you know, seeing some of the stats and the information about what's happened around Kirkdale and L4, it's... You know, it's quite sad to see. So, yeah, of course, I want to get involved more and help out with that. I think you need to get back on there because Richarlison's struggling without your presence. Absolutely fantastic what's going on here today. There are, the world's media is here today, by the way. There are representatives from television, radio, local papers, national papers, Sunday papers. This is the Everton Down Syndrome team, and I'm joined by Mark Dolan. Uh, just explain, Mark, a little bit about what's going on. So we've got our dancing home lads uh, team down today. We've got a mixture of juniors and adults just joining in with a football session. We normally train on a Wednesday night, so we thought, you know, why not come down and train here for the for the hour or so? The players have been telling us that they enjoy these sessions, and you've only got to look at them. They're having the time of their lives as well as the kids, aren't they? Which is so important to what you're trying to get across. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, every, any, anything we can get, you know, input from the players is always beneficial to us. Especially, you know, all the support we can get as possible to get our, you know, our team as, uh, out there as, as big as possible in the media is, is, is perfect for us. How did the teams do last season? We've done very well, actually. Yeah, we. Um, we won um, a local tournament um, at Bootle FC, what they, what they organised, so we come out plate winners of that. We um, took part in a few competitions with Warrington Wolves and Man City and, and come out victorious there as well. What's your name, my friend? Dylan. And are you playing football here with the footballers? Yeah, I'm catching my football. I was like a smell to lie. Do you like playing for Everton? Yeah. Let's like some PM. Do you score goals? Yeah. I'm 24. Good boy. Well done, Dylan. We'll speak to you again later. Yerry Mina and uh, Michael Keane involved in this. So is James McCarthy and Andre Gomez as well. Seamus Coleman, whenever the Down Syndrome team are having a go down here, you're always delighted to get involved, aren't you? Yeah, they're great. They're great kids. And uh, you can see how happy they are to be here. But you can see with the lads, you know, Yerry and Andre, they're taking to Everton in the community quite well. They're so happy to be here as well. So... Great day all round. What I love when I see these boys playing is the pride they take. These are Everton footballers, aren't they? Yeah, they love it. They absolutely love it. They love, uh, you know, training once a week every Wednesday. They love coming out there, getting the Everton top on them and really happy lads. And, you know, they're a pleasure and we can learn a lot from them. Snods is at the side of the pitch there, Seamus. He hasn't picked up an injury, has he? <laughs> you wouldn't know it's Snods, but to be honest, Snods is, Snods is great. Anytime I'm involved in this, he's always around as well. And I have to say, Snods is a, he's a top man and you know, he, he's been great for Everton in the community as well. Thanks, Seamus. Let's go and have a word with Snods and make sure he's all right. He's, uh, he stressed himself a little bit uh, in the warm-up, but he looks OK now. And uh, it's fantastic, Snods, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Uh, first team players, the group of players that are here all joining in and it's fantastic. We're with the Down Syndrome boys and I get pleasure every time I'm, uh, I, I do a little workout with them. They smile on the face. They, they work exceptionally hard. They listen to the coaches as well. So, yeah, it's great that uh, they're joining in and, and having bags of fun as well. I've just said to Seamus, these boys are Everton players, aren't they? No, we are a doubt they, and, and they're proud to be as well. Uh, I know when the uh, when the players came in to see them, they were, they were hugging the first team players, but in response, first team players give them a huge hug as well. But no, they are Everton players. They love wearing the Everton shirt and they love winning tournaments. Fantastic. Thanks very much indeed, Snods. Let's, uh, let's move along to the next stage here at USM Finch Farm. This is the Everton in the Community Showcase event. Employment, education and training is this one, and I'm joined by John MacDonald. Just tell us what's uh, going on here, John. We're delivering an uh, enterprise session today. We 
go to schools and we help uh, young people who um, are struggling with business to learn about the world of work and, and enterprise. We take the football club's business model um, and just use that in a very practical way, very engaging way, so young people get a little bit more interested in, uh, in business and the world of work. The figures are fantastic and they speak to themselves. 300 students from across 10 schools, we help more than 1,000 people make themselves job ready. That's right, yeah. I think programmes like this can really engage with young people in, in a different way perhaps maybe than, uh, than, than schools can um, and our job is to, to help young people understand that there's a wide range of jobs out there and we try and use the, the club's assets to be able to showcase some of them. Absolutely brilliant, thanks very much John. Just going to call out uh, Theo Walcott who's uh, been involved in this, it, it's fantastic to see the players and the kids come together. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, you know, what Everton do in the community is, you obviously look behind me now, the amount of social activities that are going on, all different breeds, and uh, that's what it's about, bringing people together, excitement, enjoyment, and uh, helping people in social skills, which the club provides and the players, we can do our part. Um, but, you know, in hindsight, it's down to the personnel who, who run this business, and it's uh, so much work that goes in behind, you know, behind closed doors that we don't really know about, but when we actually get to experience it and do it with the children and obviously young adults and uh, you know uh, elderly people um, it sort of brings it back home that you know it's not all about football um, and what football does for the community it brings people together and that's what it's about when people yeah. speak about the power of football sometimes young children young people will listen to a professional football or listen to a hero of theirs where maybe they may not listen to anybody else yeah I think um, it's easy to talk to people you can you, talk to people involved in football you know everyone loves playing football everyone loves playing some sort of sport but football being one of the most global games in you know in the world um, it brings so many people together brings so much excitement enjoyment to people and it's another way of you know sort of forgetting about other issues that are going on in your life and you can concentrate on the, on the positive which is you know, obviously fitness it always helps with that but not just that it helps you get to to know people uh, it gets you out of that comfort zone at times as well if you're not comfortable around people um, and you know football is all about bringing people together and, and the love in the game and it's, it's only going to improve as well fabulous thanks very much Theo okay let's go to the uh, the fifth station here at USM Finch Farm this is all about health and well-being the imagine your goals program is run by a chap called Johnny Garsard. You can see the manager, Marco Silva, is, uh, is very much involved watching this one. So I'm just going to collar Johnny before he goes much further and just ask him what this is all about today. Dan, if you can uh, just do that for us. Uh, yeah, well, we're just uh, here at Finch Farm just showcasing Imagine Your Goals, which is one of our flagship mental health programmes to our Everton first team players. So we've got uh, Leighton, we've got Czech, we've got Tom, we've got Morgan and Martin. So we've just done a little bit of a workshop there talking about football therapy, which is a concept we use, which is uh, how we can use football as a form of therapy to try and educate people to get more robustness and resilience within their well-being on the pitch. So then he can obviously try and adopt and translate those skills when it comes to situations off the pitch. There's no subject, is it, that's not enhanced by bringing a footballer along? That's it, you know, it's the beautiful game and, you know, it has just a, such a power to be able to unite people uh, from different backgrounds, different thought processes and different challenging backgrounds. So it's a wonderful thing to be able to utilise football in this way uh, to say that, you know, we're a football club that stands by our community uh, for those who have got all, all, all different ailments and different illnesses to say, you know, we can be there to support them. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, Johnny. Sharpie, this is a fantastic event, isn't it? Absolutely, Dan, and uh, to get the first team players involved as well, you know, it just adds a little extra to it, but it just shows you what a good uh, job Everton and the community are doing and all the programmes that they're, they're running at this moment in time, so when we're involved in here, it's uh, imagine your goals and, you know, good to hear Johnny talking as well and explaining things, and as you quite rightly said there, it's not just ordinary working people that can be affected with mental health, it's professional footballers as well as we know. So it's no, it's very, very, very good and, and great to see the first team players involved. 
it can make such a difference to a local community and far, far beyond Everton in the community because you've been, you've been all over the world. Of course it can. And I think, you know, when you look at the reputation that the Everton community have got, Dan, it just shows you what, what they're doing, not just locally, but nationwide and, and globally as well. And it's a big, big thing. And it's important that football, we know what football clubs are all about and how much they, uh, they mean to the, to the local people. So it's important we get the, the message out there. And I think that, uh, events like today certainly does that. Well, from a former centre-forward to a current centre-forward, you seem to be enjoying that, Jank. Yeah, it makes it really fun. Uh, it's nice to, to meet the lads here. And uh, I think um, it's important. The mental health is very important. And uh, it's nice to see the guys happy. We are working together. And, yeah, it makes fun. The players enjoy getting involved in things like this, don't they? Yeah, we like the community. We love it. And uh, we are happy to be here with the guys. And we like it. It's, it's good for the staff as well, not just the participants in these schemes, but the, the people from Everton, the community, the staff, they get a boost from you getting involved. Yeah, I think it's a big impact from us. Uh, and uh, yeah, Everybody's got a smile on their face, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's nice to meet them as well. They would love to meet us as well. So, as I said, it's a big impact for the club and for the community as well. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Marco, it's terrific to see so many different people from within the football club family all involved together. Yes, it's it's fantastic. I think it's, it's something we we are doing with a big pleasure as well. Uh, I think it's, it's important for us as a staff and our players. They feel always important we are here. Uh, we we spend some some minutes, some maybe one hour or two hours, but it's fantastic what to, what you can give for all these people, um, not just uh, what we can do behind the scenes as well, but with this type of activities as well, I think is important for, for us and really more important to, to them. From the moment you joined Everton Football Club, this part of it was so important to you? It's really important, of course, um, when you join one club, you have to understand um, how the club is important in the community as well. And I felt since the first day, is big part of the, our club, the our community as well, and of course you, you have to be open to, to participate as well. I told, I told our board, um, particularly to, the, to Denise in this, this type of situations, everything of course within our normal time, but everything what uh, she needs, you are ready to, to help as well. It doesn't just change lives, at times it can save lives as well. Yes, it's for, for us it's clear and now you are understanding more and more and more when you can when you can speak with these people, when you can see some, some clips as well, how, how is important how, how, and how is big what we are doing in the community. And for me, it's clear, not just to, to, to change the, changing some lives, but to, to save as well. well. The Everton in the Community Showcase really is one of the highlights of the year here at Everton Football Club. But today has been no exception. The staff have enjoyed it, the participants have loved it, the players have enjoyed it, so has Marcel, so has Marco Silva. We hope you have too. That's what Everton in the Community is all about.